What's up everybody, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Mega Charizard Y in the Master League. Uh, obviously, I showcased Mega Charizard X a couple of videos ago. Do check that out. In the, the link is in the description below. But obviously, these are some battles that I did a couple of days ago on Go Battle Day. And I wanted to get this video out yesterday or a couple of days ago, but couldn't do it. But better late than ever, I guess. And I'm pretty sure by now, most of you know how insane uh, Mega Charizard Y is in terms of its attack stat. You might have tried it out already. This thing is an absolute monster being able to sweep multiple team comps, especially when you have shield advantage. So for this particular team comp, I'm going to be using Yveltal and Beware, basically using Yveltal as the safe swap and Beware as the closer. Uh, it's like an ABB line where Yveltal is basically going to be able to bait out the Charmer and hopefully some fighters as well. So that, like I said, Beware has a pretty clear path to sweep towards endgame. And none of these Pokemon Pokemon are XL, they're all just level 40 because I still want to preserve both Beware and Charizard for hopefully Master Premier Classic if it does come around in the future, in the future seasons. But even without these Pokemon being XL, this team was still able to put in a lot of work there. So there's some really fun battles in here and let's just get straight into it. Moving on to the first battle here, we have Charizard into a Togekiss. So I have no choice but to stay in right now because Charizard is my only response to a Charmer. So we're gonna stay in and unfortunately these Dragon Breaths are double resisted, but they make a switch into their Lugia, which is best case scenario. I can come in with my Yveltal, which is a pretty hard counter for Lugia. We managed to sneak an extra Snarl through as we, they were throwing. This is just gonna be a Sky Attack. They didn't even build up to an Aero Blast. So there was no point shielding that. And I'm gonna build up to two, two Dark Pulses here and then fire off the first one right now. And again, this is going to do super effective damage, but gets the shield, which is perfect. I'm just going to do one extra snarl here and then go for another Dark Pulse. And this Dark Pulse, let's see what they decide to do. They actually double shield, which ends up working out perfectly because like I said, Mega Charizard Y with a shield advantage is going to be able to sweep a lot of different team comps, right? Uh, because it just has such an insanely high attack stat. So I'm going to come in with my Beware here. They make a switch into their Tokus. They basically give up switch advantage, which ends up working out perfectly for me because I'm just going to go straight for the Blast Burn. This is going to do massive damage. Did about 80% of Tokus' health there, which is insane. We're going to be able to Dragon Breath farm it down and they come back with their Lugia. This is okay. We have a shield advantage. So I'm going to safely shield this up and I'm going to go for the Blast Burn as soon as I get it. I don't really want to over farm in this matchup because we're taking quite a bit of damage from Dragon Tail and also Mega Charizard Y is kind of glassy. So I do want to preserve some health on it to hopefully take out whatever is in the back. So out goes Lugia and then in comes Mamoswine and this is absolutely perfect. I'm going to be able to go for the Blast Burn here. Charizard bringing out the broom, going for the sweep and this Blast Burn is going to send this Woolly Mammoth back to extinction. So it's pretty much going to one-shot it right there and then Charizard is able to take the win. So like I kind of, we kind of 1v3 or 1v2 and a half, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, Charizard is absolutely insane. This is the worst lead that you can run into. I mean, unlike Mega Charizard X, you're going to take quite a bit of super effective damage from those waterfalls. Immediately safe switching into the Yveltal. And it's positive that they're actually kind of staying in because they probably don't have a solid response to a Yveltal. Uh, so I'm just going to build up to two Dark Pulses here. Unfortunately, they sneak an extra waterfall through. That's okay because we should be able to get off two Dark Pulses before they can get to another surf. Dark Pulse that does get the shield from the Kyogre. So they, they're probably wanting to preserve the Kyogre, which is okay. I'm going to go for the second Dark Pulse here. This connects for some quite uh, for some decent neutral damage and I obviously have to wait out the switch clock because they, are they didn't switch out yet so I want to make sure that our switch timers are not misaligned at this point. This is just going to be a surf. I'm going to soak it up on the Beware here. It does quite a bit of damage. Again, Beware is pretty glassy. So I'm going to go for the superpower as soon as I get it before they can get off another surf. I just want to get this Kyogre out of here. So hopefully Charizard has a pretty clear path to sweep towards endgame there. Immediately going to switch into my Charizard to clear the debuff and they have their own Mega Charizard Y in the back. The good thing is that we have a shield advantage, but we're, we're, we're at a slight energy disadvantage, which is okay. Uh, but yeah, they're going to fire off the Dragon Claw here. I'm going to overfarm as much as I can and then go for the first Dragon Claw right now. This is probably going to get the final shield from the Charizard. And if they shield that, I'm going to actually shield as well. I have to shield my Charizard here. I do have to shield this. And then I'm going to overfarm just a little bit more and then fire off the Dragon Claw here because I really need that energy advantage to hopefully beat whatever is in the back. So I'm going to overfarm as much as I can. Going for the Dragon Claw here, this will be taking out their Charizard and hopefully whatever is in the back is weak to Charizard. Unfortunately, they have a Mewtwo in the back and I know I'm not going to be able to outpace. So I'm just going to catch the Psy Strike on the Beware here. And this is absolutely perfect because Psy Strike is going to KO the Beware. And then we're going to be basically one Dragon Breath away from the Blast Burn. I'm going to be able to get off this blast burn and blast burn is absolutely going to destroy this Mewtwo there. That is some ridiculous amount of damage honestly. Obviously also considering the fact that Mewtwo is pretty glassy and probably a blast burn from a regular Charizard would have almost KO'd anyways but uh, yeah there's no doubt about the fact that a Mega Charizard wise blast burn is probably going to one shot. They make us, I mean we have a Kyogre on the lead that is absolutely terrible once again here and this time they make a switch into their Zacian. So this is not good. I mean it's actually good in terms of the fact that we baited out their fairy type which is pretty nice. 
So going for the Dark Pearls right now, they actually shield that, which is really surprising. They probably thought that was a Hurricane or something. I'm just gonna let it go through. There's no point shielding. This, this is not a winning matchup for Yvertel, but they go for close combat. This tells me they're probably running close combat and Iron Head because they would have thrown the Wild Charge or played off if they had it. Going for the Dark Pearls here does quite a bit of damage now because they've been debuffed. And unfortunately, we face a little bit of lag. So I'm actually gonna shield this because I want to maintain switch advantage to make sure my Charizard doesn't go up against their Kyogre. So going for the Dark Pearls once again, this is probably going to put some pressure on the shields of the Zation, uh, but they actually let that go through, which is fantastic because we managed to win back switch advantage. So trying to get to the Dark Pearls here, but they decide to throw, which is perfect for me because I can come in with my Beware right now. And I'm going to try and go for the payback here. I'm not going to go for the superpower because I don't want to debuff. But they make a switch into their Mewtwo. This is perfect because we have the slight energy lead. I'm going to go for the payback and force them to shield here. But they let that go through and just one shots the Mewtwo. That is absolutely perfect. And out comes Kyogre again. And I'm really hoping that we can tank this Surf and then get off the superpower here. Surf comes through. Hopefully I can get to a superpower but we faint just as we get to it. That is absolutely terrible for me because these waterfalls are absolutely going to tear into Charizard here. And what's critical in this matchup is that when I throw the first Dragon Claw, I need to make sure they don't sneak an extra waterfall through. So I'm going to farm up as much as I can. I need to get to two Dragon Claws here. These Dragon Breaths are absolutely shredding. Luckily, we were able to throw the Dragon Claw in the middle of the waterfall. So I know I can get to another Dragon Claw here. We're barely able to get to another Dragon Claw as the waterfall comes through, but it doesn't matter because the Dragon Claw will KO the Kyogre and that's going to take the win for us there. So, I mean, as you can see, these Dragon Breaths absolutely shredded that Kyogre. Yeah, probably that wasn't a level 50 Kyogre, but still, I mean, that did quite a bit of damage there. So moving into the next battle here, we have Charizard into a Metagross. Now Metagross has nowhere to go in this team. All three of these Pokemon do really well against Metagross and out comes Mega Gyarados. It's about time we saw Mega Gyarados, probably one of the most common Pokemon that you would have run into on Go Battle Day. But anyways, going for the Dragon Claw just to get some get a shield. I was trying to get some chip damage off, but we get a shield, that is perfect. This is exactly why we have Beware in the back. Beware has a pretty solid matchup against Mega Gyarados. I mean, it actually kind of still loses to it. Also, this is a Dragon Tail Gyarados. It's doing quite a bit of damage, but at least you're going to be able to hit for super effective with superpower here. So going for the, they go for the crunch, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna build up quite a bit of energy here, going for the superpower right now. And I should be able to get the back to back off. The first one gets the shield, gonna go for the second one. This is probably not gonna KO, so they, I don't expect them to shield this because it is debuffed, but still does a solid chunk of damage, right? And what it does is at this point, this puts this Gyarados into perfect Snarl farm down, right? So I'm gonna go come in with my Evelkel, we can soak this up. Probably just gonna be an Aqua Tail or a Crunch. Uh, surprisingly, they go for Crunch. I don't know if they're probably running Outrage or something, but anyways, we are going to be able to Snarl farm this thing all the way down and come out of this matchup with a lot of loaded energy, right? And they come in with Kyogre. This ends up working out perfectly for me because obviously they don't want to bring out the Metagross. And I'm glad they brought out the Kyogre because I want my Uvel to take out this Kyogre. So we go for the Dark Worlds. We have so much energy. I'm going to be able to get off this Focus Blast as well. This will be taking out the Kyogre. And then out they have a Metagross in the back and we have a Charizard with a Shield Advantage. And this game is over right now. So again, going for the Blast Burn. Blast Burn is absolutely going to vaporize this Metagross. And yeah, that's going to take the win for us there. So just landing is just so satisfying to land so many Blast Burns to close out games. And that's where, again, when we can get some shields out of the way. That's where, that's the thing with Yveltal. Yveltal generally pressures some shields because it has those hard-hitting moves. You're going to be able to get those shields out of the way. So we have met with another Tokis. Let's see how this plays out. Actually, the truth is about this matchup is that you actually have to bait once to win the two shield because... Uh, we're taking quite a bit of damage from Charm in spite of it being resisted, right? Unfortunately, they shield the Blast Burn here. I was hoping they would let that go through, but they obviously shield that. I should have actually baited in hindsight, but they go for the Ancient Power and they get the boost. That is like the worst thing to see here. I mean, Toki is getting the boost. I'm hoping, I'm going for the Dragon Claw because I know for sure they're going to shield and hopefully I can get off a Blast Burn here. But as you can see, those Charms are absolutely destroying. I know I can't get to a Blast Burn. So immediately switching to my Yveltal. This is a pretty terrible matchup for Yveltal. And I decided to shield last second because this Ancient Power would do quite a bit of damage. And going for the Dark Pulse just to do some chip damage. I mean, obviously Hurricane would have really helped in this matchup. But unfortunately, we're not running Hurricane. And Dark Pulse almost does no damage to this Tokis. And they're able to charm down. And this is looking absolutely terrible. My Charizard has almost no health in the back. And out comes Beware here. I'm trying to get to a Payback right now because Super Power is double resisted. Payback is only single resisted. They go for the Ancient Power. This should be resisted. Still does quite a bit of damage. And we're not even able to get to a move there. I was trying to at least click on the Super Power. But we faint and then we're not even able to get off another move there so Tokis absolutely swept my entire team they got the boost which is unfortunate but yeah that, those things happen moving into the next one here we have Charizard into a Machamp again once again it's a pretty good lead here I don't
don't want my beware to go up against a Machamp. Even Yvaltal doesn't have a great matchup against Machamp because you'll have to build up all the way to a Focus Blast to do some sort of neutral damage, right? But I do have to watch out for Rock Slide, which does have one-shot potential in this matchup. They actually bait with Cross Chop, which is not ideal. But I'm going to be able to outpace and le reach the next Dragon Claw here. This should force the shield from the Machamp or take it out. I'm expecting them to shield this, uh, which they do. And then... At this point, I'm gonna try and catch the rock slide on Beware. Unfortunately, I was slightly, my timing was slightly off, and they basically saw the switch and they go for the cross chop, which is unfortunate, and they make a switch into their guard chomp. Now, this is fine. I mean, we can still do some neutral damage against guard chomp, going for the payback here. Not gonna go for the superpower, because I don't wanna be in a position where they can actually farm down the Beware. So I'm gonna go for another super. They actually farmed up quite a bit. I'm able to get to a superpower as well, which is fantastic. It's gonna do quite a bit of damage against Garchomp and almost talk take it out here. And I think also this is a level 50 Garchomp, if I'm not wrong. It's like 4500 CP. Oh, yeah, probably a level 50 Garchomp there. So that's actually pretty impressive. So we're able to come in with my Charizard, going to Dragon Breath down. Out comes Machamp. We should be able to farm down. Definitely gonna shield this because they have enough for a Rock Slide. I don't want to be taken out by a rock slide here. And then they have a Mega Venusaur in the back. This is beautiful. This is exactly what you want to see. Going for the Blast Burn. I mean, this is without question going to one-shot the Venusaur. And then we're going to be able to Dragon Breath down the Machamp there. They actually concede the match. So, again, like, as you can see, Charizard, again, putting in a lot of work. But I, I think the Beware Garchomp matchup is actually pretty impressive. Being able to do almost KO the Garchomp from a level 40 Beware. Uh, just doing one payback and superpower, that was actually pretty impressive. So moving into the next one here, we have Charizard into a Dragonite. This is actually a pretty solid matchup for Charizard. As you can see, these Dragon Breaths are absolutely shredding this Dragonite. And unlike Mega Charizard Y, Mega Charizard X, Mega Charizard X, I should say, Mega Charizard Y only takes neutral damage from Dragon Breath, right? Whereas if this was Mega Charizard X, this would be kind of a tougher matchup because we're taking super effective damage from the Dragon Breaths. But this is okay. As you can see, we're doing so much more damage to them than they are to us. And we're going to be able to Dragon Breath farm this thing down, but I'm definitely going to shield this. Also, this is an XL Dragonite but that's still okay we're still able to do a lot of damage and we're able to farm this thing down which is fantastic and then uh unfortunately we don't have a shield here so this is slightly tricky but they make us they come into their mel metal this is where i make a big misplay i should have i had the blast burn i just should have thrown the blast burn just to get that final shield out of them because now i switch out and we have an energy disadvantage i'm not going to be able to get to a focus blast i should have at least gone for the dark pulse there right that is like such a big misplay on my part because i completely wasted all that energy there and then I have to come in with my Beware, right? I cannot come in with my Charizard against a Bell Metal with a, with a Shield Advantage. But I'm going to come in. Superpower is going to do a lot of super effective damage. And I'm actually building up to two superpowers here. And then we lose CMP there. So we basically wasted a Focus Blast on Yveltal. Two superpowers on Beware. And this game is pretty much over. I'm just going to decide to top left. I played that so badly there. Moving into the next one here. We have Charizard Y into another Kyogre. Uh, this is like probably the third Kyogre that I actually ran into. Immediately switching to my Yveltal. They are staying in. This is such a positive sign. And they make a switch into their Mel Metal. They were very, very late to switch out. This is fantastic because I'm going to be able to go straight for the Focus Blast here and near one shots the Mel Metal, right? Also, this is obviously a level 50 Mel Metal, as you can see there. And if this was a level 50 Yveltal, that definitely would have one shot. Unfortunately, a level 40 Yveltal cannot fully one shot a level 50 Mel Metal, right? With Focus Blast. But we're able to snarl down, which is fantastic. Even though we have to give up a shield, that's okay because Kyogre is going to come back in. They're going to win CMP. That's okay. This is just going to be a surf. And it will not KO uh, the Yveltal from this range. And I should be able to get to two Dark Pulses here, right? This should get the shield from the Kyogre or it's going to do quite a bit of damage. It does get the shield. That's fine. I'm going to go for the second Dark Pulse right now. And let's see what they decide to do here. Uh, they actually double shield, which is really interesting. And once again, this is exactly what we want because we need Charizard. Uh, we need to preserve Charizard to be, be able to... Uh, take out whatever they have in the back. So out Kyogre comes out. This is just going to be a surf. We can easily tank a surf and get off a payback here. Uh, like I said, that still does quite a bit of damage. And luckily, we're able to get to a, a payback right now. Payback is going to do quite a bit of damage against Kyogre. And immediately going to switch into my Charizard just to get ahead on energy. We're going to take quite a bit of damage from Waterfalls. But then again, that energy advantage is going to really be helpful. But they have a Garchomp with much Shard in the back. No, actually, it's a Dragon Tail Garchomp, but that's okay. We have two Dragon Breaths, and these Dragon Breaths are absolutely shredding the Garchomp. We have two Dragon Claws anyway. going to go for the first Dragon Claw right now. Going to be able to get to the second Dragon Claw, and that's going to take out the Garchomp there. Could have probably just farmed it down with Dragon Breath, but uh, yeah, just wanted to play it safe. Just in case they had two Sand Tombs or something, but uh, anyways, as you can see there, I mean... Overall, it was positive. positive. I mean, it wasn't the perfect team out there. I did go, I just had like a couple of positive sets with this team. Overall, it's definitely a lot of fun to use. Beware, probably questionable in the Open Master League meta, but I feel like it can handle, even though there weren't too many Giratinas, I feel like it could be one of the hardest walls to Giratina and it can actually break apart the Giratina Dialga course. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.